Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and our first video of the year for 2024. Uh, today we are going to be continuing our scenario series. Don't worry guys, uh, New World Order should be coming back this week. I just haven't had time to do a video for that because of the holidays. So hopefully we'll be getting back into a more normal upload schedule and a bit more varied one soon. But that aside, we're going to be doing Battleship versus Torpedo Boats today where our objective is to destroy six torpedo boats. Um, and we get to build a battleship. That is, we have a total funding pool of 210 million, so that should be plenty for us. We got 60 minutes, sink all enemy ships is our objective, and the enemy will never retreat. Um, so we have to build a battleship to fight torpedo boats. I do this quite often in the campaigns where I fight a horde of torpedo boats with a battleship, uh, but usually I have a coincidence rangefinder. Um, no matter which one of these options we choose, we do not get rangefinders, so we're already at a disadvantage there. We are fighting torpedo boats, so main guns aren't going to be... They're not my main choice for fighting smaller ships. Optimized secondary guns would be a good option. Alternatively, optimized maneuverability might also be good, um, so we can make the ship faster and just all around more maneuverable. Um... That way we can avoid torpedoes because I'm not sure I'm not sure how quick these guys are going to be. I don't know how good their torpedoes will be, so I don't know if this might be the safe option for keeping your distance. Um, I would optimize my secondary guns, but I'm not really sure if that's going to be the best. Uh, or we could do mixed technologies. Um... But I think I'm going to challenge myself and we'll do the optimized secondaries. Um, we only get one battleship hole. Uh, let us see here. We only get one battleship, so... Uh, oh yeah, I was fiddling with this a bit already. Uh, we will start with a fresh design. Get rid of that one. Alright. Fresh design. Front tower... Let's extend the hole. Might not be a wise option, but I'm also an idiot, so we are just going to go with it. Uh, let us widen the hole a bit so we can get rear tower 5 on. And then we will go with... We can't fit... Actually, yes, we can fit our uh, front tower... What is that? 8? Front tower 8 on there. We just have to sink it into the into the back there which honestly looks very silly i actually love that um it is a silly, a silly design uh triple funnel how fast do we want to go we want to probably be somewhere in the range what's the opt optimal speed for this hole 17 knots uh let's go let's start with let's start with 18 um, and then we will go from there. I also just realized that my TV is doing something stupid. Uh, let's see here. We can get half of our speed with that, with the, uh, triple funnel large. Which might be what we do. Actually, let's, uh, what can we get with this? Not ideal, but good enough. Uh, we aren't going to go with, we'll go with centerline 9-inch guns. Do we have access to barbettes? No, we don't. Um, we usually don't. We'll go with center centerline 9-inch guns, um, just to save on weight. They'll fire quicker, and what we really need is volume of fire. I don't need to blast a torpedo boat with a 12-inch gun, as satisfying as that might be sometimes. <laughs> Uh, secondaries, what do we got? We got Mark II six-inch guns. We'll throw those on. Honestly, I could probably do the safer option. Do, like, three, four-inch gun. Um, uh, four-inch might actually be a better option. Although, I can put... I could put a bunch of four-inch guns there like that. 
six the six is six inch guns are mark twos and they well okay they do have more accuracy so we'll we'll stick with that uh what else do we want to do we want to slap on some secondaries some smaller guns oh i can probably put six inch guns in the back here can i yeah there we go uh the game's lagging like always <laughs> there we go i don't know why my game becomes framey like that whenever i go to do anything uh two inch guns can go there but i really don't want to put those there can i put it will not let me put turrets up there that is a shame i want to put turrets up on this platform i I hate this ship hole. I really do. I see it too much. I I can't put guns everywhere I want on this. Like my my options for secondary placement is very limited. Uh, mostly because it won't. I would put secondaries up here on this platform, but the game won't let me put secondaries up here on this platform. It is very annoying, and I wish the devs would uh, do me a favor and change that. Although I highly doubt they will because they most certainly will not be seeing this video uh, until, you know, way down the road. But anyways, I digress. How much weight do we have? We still got plenty of weight. Um, armor, compound, barbet one, even though that's probably not going to be super important. We can't do anything with our... Uh, we can't give ourselves a double bottom, and we have to use standard bulkheads. So, Citadel 1, it's not going to be mo the most important thing. These are only torpedo boats. I don't know if... Oh, guys, there's... Armor build prevents shells or torpedoes from penetrating horizontally. So, yeah, it does help against torpedoes. I figured, I thought it did. I just couldn't remember if the game was that advanced or not. Um, so, for our armor belt, we will go with a 12-inch belt, which is my standard. Uh, along with a 4 extended and aft. For 4 and aft, so... You guys know what I mean. Uh, deck armor isn't going to be as important. We're just going to leave this at 0.5. Um, because the enemy aren't going to have big enough guns to even go through that. I don't have big enough guns to go through that. So, uh, let me think here. For conning tower, let us do... We'll do a 9-inch conning tower and then a 1-inch superstructure. That should be enough. Um, and then for inner deck, we'll just do a point 0.1 because it's not going to be that bad. Uh, and once again, we'll do point 0.5 on the turrets as well. Because plunging fire is not something I'm going to worry about. They're only torpedo boats. Uh, barbette, we will do 8-inch. Um, we will do 6-inch sides on that. And we'll do an 8-inch side on the 6-inch guns. And then for the main turrets, we'll do a 10-inch. Um, let me think here. We can't extend the, the gun barrels, so we'll just enhance reloading. Uh, black powder bursting and white powder, uh, brown powder. Ugh. Don't like our explosive options. Uh, heavy shells makes the guns less accurate. I want accuracy. We'll stick with HE shells, though. Can't really do much to improve our shell performance. Shame. Uh, steam steering, I think I might want a unbalanced rudder. That's not going to do our uh, speed any favors. However, that is going to help us turn quicker. Um, so pretty much, as you can see, we won't be able to maintain our speed when turning, but we will be able to have a higher turn rate. Whether or not that actually saves us, I don't know. We're going to sure as hell find out here in a minute, though. Um, I accidentally turned up my mouse sensitivity. All right. Uh, can we get away with 19 knots? What about 20? 20 knots? No. Uh, let's stick with... Hey, oops. There we go. Tw uh, 19 knots. We'll stick with that. Uh, what if we actually... What if we reduce our range? 
Can we get uh, 20 knots out of that? I actually didn't pay attention. Yeah, no, we're way over. We're way overweight with that. All right. 19 knots it is. Um, quarters. Standard. Spacious. Training. Maximum training. Hmm. What else can we do? Our main limitation is our weight right now. I could probably we could probably get away with slapping more armor on this thing. Um, I think that's about it. Um, I'm not going to take any extra shells because I never need extra shells. I rarely ever run out of ammunition in this game as it is. Um, but let's up our main belt because that's prop. I can only do up to thirteen. All right. Well. Okay, the game wants to torment me. Uh, let's go with 5-inch extended. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so 16,000 tons. We are only using a little over half of our budget, so... <laughs> which is, you know, not a bad thing per se, but... Uh, yeah, I would rather have a second battleship at this point but they're not going to give me that so they only give us one max uh, we will call this the well you know we'll just call it the bully because that's essentially what we're going to be doing <laughs> uh, I'm going to try not editing this video today so well Okay, in any serious measure, I'm probably going to put our end card, and that is about it. This is going to be a very easy day. That is assuming... Oh, I hear a thunderstorm. Yeah, this is assuming that everything goes well. Yeah, I know we're in the middle of this thunderstorm. The bully class. <laughs> bully you, sir. Oh, yeah, look at that. See, I need to... There's this... Oh, and I'm already getting game lag. Yeah, alright. Oh, I, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. There we go. Alright. Yeah, the, um... So, the fact that it's a thunderstorm means that we are slowed down to 16 knots from 19, so... Not great. We are... Yeah, we're, we're set to... Uh, we can't go flank speed. We're only set to full. Which technically wouldn't give us an accuracy bonus, but that bonus isn't going to matter when we're getting tossed around by waves, I believe. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, we need to speed this up and identify these ships, and hopefully, uh, we already hit one. That's good. Good start. We hit the second one. See, volume of fire works. Because when you're looking at these numbers, accuracy is a menial concept. <laughs> yep, we got one. That one sank. That one's probably going to sink. Let's target this one to get it off our tails. Because that one's retreating a bit. I The idea is, is we don't want them to get too close. We want to discourage them from getting too close. And we don't want to give them a amazing target. So trying to keep ourselves turning away from them. That way we can easily get out of the way. Of course, we still want our guns to be able to be on target, and I don't want to be turning towards them. Living up to our namesake, we are the big bullies. <laughs> we are certainly being big bullies, although that one is coming close. What kind of design are we even fighting? Oh, they got... They got four-inch guns. How much armor pin do those have? Six inch? Respectable. Not enough to kill a battleship. Their torpedoes aren't even turning towards us. What's their torpedo range? Not terrible a kilometer, but we are barely far enough away that they're not going to be able to do much. Is that the one that we damaged? Yes. Alright. Next one. No, let's not turn towards the enemy, sir. I keep having that issue where I accidentally click. Uh, I'll right-click to turn the camera, and I'll accidentally send it the other direction. <laughs> send the ship turning in a direction I don't want to go in. 
Uh, let us speed ourselves, uh, get our speed back up here. Sink the Centauro for our next party trick. We shall blast. <laughs> Blasted. And time to come back for seconds on this one. See, you don't need to be quick. You just need to be able to put enough shells down range to negate the other person's quickness and size. <laughs> Volume of fire works. Even though our, yeah, we, we have an accuracy of 8%. We have an 8% chance of hitting, but we're putting so many shells at them that it doesn't matter. One of them's going to hit. So, yep, and come on. This resilient little bugger, isn't he? Here, let, let me get another screenshot. I like, I want to get, I, I've been meaning to get screenshots. That one isn't going to work because the bow is underwater. <laughs> there we go. That, that's a bet. <sighs> the bow coming out of the water. Yeah, that, that's a better screenshot. And let, let us see here. What is a good angle? That, I think that one. That uh, angle probably works. Bow coming out of the water. What? Why not? There we go. That's our screenshot. Let us finish the mission. <laughs> they are on fire. And there they go. Well, per our name, we certainly were the bully. Mission complete. That's what I like to see. Uh, how long did that even take? 16 minutes. All right. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Anyways, guys, with that, we will call this video adjourn. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know what your thoughts were. And if you have any tips for me, I would be more than happy to take them. Because once again, I am an idiot. So <laughs> I, there's always room for you guys to tell me that I've done that. I could have done something better as long as it is in a constructive manner. On top of that, guys, if you haven't already subscribed and you don't want to miss any of our future content, go down and go down below and hit that subscribe button. It is free. We have almost hit 200 subscribers. We are one away from hitting the, the 200 mark, which is very exciting. And I have a bet with Nacho and I want my cheeseburger. <laughs> um, anyways, hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all next time.